The concept of smart cards in the healthcare realm is a viable alternative to interoperability. The smart cards offer security, portability, and the ease of use for patient information. The smart card was created by IBM in the 1970s as an improvement to the older magnetic stripe technology of the late 50s. It looks and feels like a credit card, but the comparison stops there. In countries offering governmental health care, it has become the norm rather than the exception. The banking industry is also implementing this technology to re replace the magnetic stripe card technology. The card contains a microprocessor that can encrypt and decode access information as well as the information stored on the card. The only access to the processor is through the use of a card reader containing the encryption codes. The card usually has a photo ID of the card holder and can contain biometric identification information such as a fingerprint, an iris scan, or other indicator. These cards reduced credit card fraud in Europe by up to 80%. The processor in the card works the same as the processor in any computer. It contains ROM, RAM, and a stored memory that can be read only or that can be changed. The size of the memory can easily accommodate a complete health record. There are two types of card access, contactless and contact. The contactless access utilizes RFID technology, whereas the contact version is similar to how current credit cards are read. There's a risk of a security breach using the contactless card and reader. The card readers can be made a part of the computer just as a DVD player or burner, or they can be freestanding and connected to the computer by cable or even wireless. Either type can contain a biometric reader to ensure validity of the card holder. Here we see two examples of card readers. Notice the slide in the and the fingerprint reader on the contact one. The contactless reader shown would be an integrated part of the face of the computer. The card simply has to be waved in front of the reader. Here are the primary due diligence requirements of any security system. The smart card encompasses them all and complies with the HIPAA guidelines for security. The cards provide a safe, secure means of transmission of data between the card and the computer system. Although hackers can get the code keys, they are generally protected, available only to subscribers, unable to be reproduced, and are not made public information. Public key encry encryption is universally used, whereas private key is usually held within a particular organization. Here is the migration path of encryption and decryption. Although Greek to most people, it's easy enough to see that the public key process is much more complex and therefore much more secure. For many years, our government has tried to give us some sort of a national identification number. A couple of examples are cited above. The smart card eliminates the need for a one number for everyone approach, thus thwarting the government's efforts again. As you can see, something as simple as a smart card can eliminate many of the mandates required by current legislation and at a fraction of the cost for implementation without interoperability between providers. All facilities need are card readers. As noted, those countries above have universal health care. The following video outlines the implementation of the card in Lombardy with the capital of Milan. I hope you enjoy it. In September 2003, we decided to introduce a multifunctional health care card for the entire health care and social security system. The goal is to automate administrative function and at the same time to improve the medical care of 9 million of citizens. The solution that Siemens proposed was based on a new healthcare card system. In a very short time, we saw that this solution was stable and most importantly, worked efficiently in real time. The technology is smart card based and guarantees a high level of privacy and security. With the smart car, the citizen can now identify themselves to the doctor or the pharmacy and have access to their health records. The patient's emergency data are stored in a chip and in a serious case, it can save lives. The acceptance by doctor and patients is so great that we decide to speed up the complete release of the cards. 
Thanks to Siemens, we have significantly simplified the administration job here in Lombardy. We save on cost and the security of the citizen, especially in emergency, was considerably improved. It works. I think it important that the smart card can provide the patient with the means to decide to whom he or she wants to impart the information when, where, and why. It offers the patient privacy and the non-intervention by the federal government. The security issue raised by RFID technology, eight bucks and the know-how, can easily be overcome by special sleeves that block the RFID frequency. They're available in sizes suitable for one's wallet or purse as well as lanyards. With smart card technology, we can vastly improve the quality of health care without the need for the expensive implementation of health information exchanges or regional health information organizations or other agencies resulting in our ability to keep our health information private. Thank you.